This is Top Thrill Dragster, a roller coaster designed to break two records, height and speed. With a top speed of 120 miles an hour and a height of 420 feet, this roller coaster was insane. So what happens when a park announces that the ride is closing forever and they will be reimagining the entire ride? Well, pretty much chaos. This looks like two top hats. Nothing. That's right, I don't think this ride will be changed in any way. The new ride manufacturer for this project will, believe it or not, be Zamperla. To another top thrill dragster construction update. And I am going to try and build a working model of this new version of the roller coaster without knowing what the roller coaster even is or what it does. So, wish me luck. While nothing's been officially announced, we can always analyze construction and come to certain conclusions. Like this U-shaped turnaround. That has to be a turnaround, right? So I built it. There are also these three footers, which line up perfectly for an all but confirmed spike. But the question is, is it twisted or is it straight? So I built a straight spike, but I'm gonna have to build a second one that's twisted. And how high will it be? I won't know. I'll just have to build on top or decrease the height when the announcement comes. And speaking of announcement, we know when that'll be too. August 1st. Cedar Point did this on Instagram and oh boy, cause I only have a week. Anyways, I'll get back to building. So in order to have a swing launch, you need a switch track to get it into the swing launch section. So I built it. Everything I've built so far has been pretty straightforward, but now I have to power the swing launch. So my plan was to take an old Ripon rocket booster and reverse the polarity with a switch and have a throttle control as well using pulses. So I bought this part from eBay. I wired it up to a legit connects cord. And here's how it went. Oh boy. I have no clue if this is gonna work or if this is gonna completely fail. Um, Turning it on in three, two, one. So far so good, I haven't been electrocuted. <laughs> Here we go. So that's awkward, but I quickly found out the issue. Oh, boosters are off. Got a red light. And it couldn't reverse. The most crucial part of the whole project wasn't working, but I found a possible issue. So I opened up the booster in search of a diode, an electrical component that will stop the electricity from reversing. And sure enough, there it was. So all I have to do now is short circuit it and it should work. So here it is short circuited and it's time to give it a test. So I reassembled the entire booster, and now the booster can finally reverse. After that big success, I got right to work on the iconic top hat. As I was building track up the top hat, I began testing on the swing launch. I quickly discovered that the booster does not switch fast enough, therefore, this should not be sufficient. So then I thought of this idea, what if the booster after it launches just flips around so it can go the same direction, but it still launches both ways? 
So I built this prototype and quickly discovered that the one rod twisting all of it is not stable enough and it doesn't really connect to the track well either. It wouldn't be consistent and the track would play derail too many times. So I searched for another solution. Okay, so what if we take two upside down boosters and make so they can raise and lower, then the lower one launches and the rose one doesn't, and then they just switch back and forth to launch in different directions. Let's try it. And just like that, I did it. But I need to find a way to remotely raise them up and down. After this, I did hundreds of test runs, and I kept on adding and innovating, until I came to this. Right here, we have our initial launch with a pull cord. It goes through the boosters and almost gets to that booster, but then rolls back, launches back up to the very top of this spike, and rolls all the way forward through the booster, through the other two boosters, over just barely the top hat. Everything was one great until I realized I'm missing a cord. The cord for the backward launcher, it doesn't have that much voltage. So I need to get a new one. So I ordered this one, but it says it's gonna come August 2nd. So let's hope that changes. Now I just had to wait for my cord to arrive and it took a little bit. So I was just playing around my coaster for a while before I got this notification. So I went outside, hopped on my skateboard, Saw this little guy on my mailbox, grabbed the package, and headed home. What? This is bad. I was counting on this working, and it's not, and the announcement is in 14 hours. So my new plan is to put on a new end. Hopefully that'll fix it. We'll just swap the ends from the previous one that worked. And uh, we're just gonna cut it up now. Let's see what happens. All right, here's what I did. And it works, surprisingly. It just cuts out the entire booster and it's overloading it with current so it doesn't quite work actually. So I had to find another solution. My new plan was to take the new cord I got and connect it up to the controller I have. This will make so I can throttle the current down and make so it doesn't make the boosters cut out. And this actually worked, so good news. Also, here's an update on the controls. We now have one switch right there that turns on all the boosters at one time right next to all the controls so it's nice and easy. Then we have these two cords attached to the, both the boosters which I use with my hands. So what do I do with the third one? Well, I actually connect it to my foot and I just swing my foot and that's how I do the pull string. So it's actually pretty complex, but I can do it, so. Another update from a couple of hours of work later and I got the very first successful full test run, all three launches, everything worked. However, it only made it like this high up the top hat, which isn't great, that's like halfway up, but that is good progress. I'm gonna see if I can get it higher, but if not, that's okay, because it works. So over the next hour, I worked on a couple prototypes for a booster on the tower system. It just didn't work. It couldn't support its weight. I was planning on doing the in and out booster, but it just didn't work. So we're going to stick with what we have because it works and it'll look great. So there's two clips that could play after this. Either the video starts and the coaster's running and it looks great, or Tony Clark was trolling us and the whole leak thing was a fake. In that case, the video is delayed. Hooray! Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. And if you want to watch another video, it's probably recommended. So uh, yeah, like the video. Thanks. Bye.